So let's go for our first real problem, simple array sum. Given an array of integers, so we're given an array of numbers. Find the sum of element, sum of its elements. So we want to add all the integers in our array and get the sum. So for example, if our array was 1 to 3, we're going to get 6. Uh, complete the simple array function in the editor below. It must return the sum of array elements as an integer. So we want a number as our solution. And it's going to have parameters array, which is an array of integers. So input format, the first line contains an integer and denoting the size of the array. So this is this over here. That's the size of the array. And second line contains n spaded and space separated integer representing array's element. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the number of elements and this is the elements. And if we add all these elements up, we're supposed to get 31. And this is our explanation. And the question itself is uh, pretty straightforward. We just want to add everything. And now let's get to our solution. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. Now let's call our solution. So first thing we do, we declare our function which takes in AR, which is an array. And we'll start with a solution that best illustrates the concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to declare result variable and set it equal to zero. And this is actually let's call it sum because we're returning the sum. And we're gonna start with zero and then finally return sum later. And now what we want to do is we want to iterate through our array. So for let i is equal to zero, we're gonna start at index zero, i is less than array dot length. And we're going to increment by one so that it, we can iterate through all the elements. And we want to add to our sum variable, sum plus equals array at index i. So what this does is it's going to iterate through all the elements in our array. So when i is equal to zero, the number is going to be one. So we add that to sum and then it's going to be two. We add it to sum three, four, 10, and 11. We add it to our sum variable and we get our result, which is going to be 31. And if you just copy paste this to your hacker rank online thing, you should get your result. And next we'll go for a different solution using reduce. All right, this is going to be our solution using reduce. So what we'll do is the logic is pretty much the same. It's just a different um, code array reduce. And it's going to take two parameters, accumulator and current value. And our accumulator is going to be a number. And our, just, just think that our accumulator represents our sum variable. And remember, we set our sum equal to zero, right? This is what we're doing uh, over here. It's pretty much the same. And what we'll do is we'll do return accumulator plus current value. So what this does is it's going to iterate through our array. And our accumulator is going to be this number which is our sum. And if you want, you can call it sum, but I, I just like using accumulator. And current value is going to be these values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, and 11. And each iteration is going to add it to our accumulator, which is our going to be sum. And when it's done, it's going to return our output, which is 31, uh, which is what we want. And this is a little bit more less code than our first solution. So it's up to you to use whichever one you like. Uh, first one better illustrates a concept, but this one is more